Dr. Ewell, today you presented your uh, talk on managing the odds of glaucoma, and you talked about a lot of topics in your in your presentation. Uh, could you give us a little bit of some of the highlights of, of what's what's most, most important to the clinician? Yeah, my pleasure. Managing the odds really refers to the reality that as clinicians, we have to make some choices with our patients. And unfortunately, each of our interventions has some potential risk, some inconvenience. And so we have to look at the global picture of what's right for the, that eye and more importantly for that patient. And so we embedded within this talk other elements that were discussed earlier in the day. We talked about some of the surgical interventions and how their risk profiles changes and why we might want to do that. We talked about some of the realities in medical therapies, the availability, the cost, what are the options. You know, we looked at some of the studies looking at different surgical interventions and then realizing that the studies come out with means and averages, but we treat individuals. So we have to take that data and then apply it to patients. There are changes in the healthcare environment as to how patients have access to their physicians. And so we talked about what is going on, what is on the background that we don't always see, and how can we help our patients maintain access to the right professionals, ophthalmologists, glaucoma specialists, who uh, general ophthalmologists who provide the highest quality care for these patients. So obviously the, the field of glaucoma is a changing landscape. Uh, for the clinician, in, who, it was the take home message for him or her in dealing with their practices. The good news is our patients need us. The good news is we have some great new medications on the horizon, some great new surgical tools, some new potential diagnostic tools. So there are improvements lying ahead. There are some challenges. Yes, the environment is changing. So you have to stay alert. You have to stay engaged. We did bring up one interesting side effect, which I don't believe I'd heard of before. Uh, there's, a drug, there's a drug reaction that can occur with uh, what's called a topical carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, and it also can be seen with something called bermonidine. And that was reported a number of years ago independently. The curious thing about this reaction is that when a patient has it, they get this thing called nectropion, where their lid kind of pulls out, and there's a little bit of redness and so forth. And if this was published a few years ago, indicating that if you stop the medication and just apply a little bit of topical steroid, it gets better and goes away. The reason that became an issue for this meeting was about a week and a half ago, uh, one of my patients all of a sudden developed this type of a reaction. And it almost looked like it was another condition that might require surgery. I consulted one of our other experts in oculoplastics and his reaction right away was, I mean, does this patient take Sembrinza? Sembrinza is a great drug, but it has both a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor as well as bromonidine in it together. And so with that information, all clinicians need to know is this reaction is possible as long as you identify it, stop the medication, and maybe apply some topical corticosteroids, it becomes a non-issue. In the paper that was published, the one patient who had significant problems had ended up having surgery. And in fact, in talking to this oculoplastic surgeon, he told me about a similar case just the week before where that, that patient had already been scheduled for lid surgery. And fortunately, he saw him and was able to, to halt that process, stop the medication, and just a short uh, course of, uh, of corticosteroids uh, topically, and it's all taken care of. So that's an important piece of information. One of the nice things we like about Glaucoma 360 and the CME program is that it is truly as current as we can make it. We look for information. It's focused on the clinician to share new information that'll help them help their patient next week. Yeah. Thank you.